Hello everyone, Jerry Tabot with you once again with a full round table this morning in this edition of Military Minute, a very <laughs> special morning that we're going to talk about Warrior Beach Retreat, which is the 10th anniversary coming up. First of all, we have Linda Cope, who's the founder and president of Warrior Beach Retreat. And I'll go this side first, John. We'll say the best to last. This is uh, Craig Seacrest. He's the uh, Director of Business Development at Emerald Coast Behavioral Hospital. And what Craig is doing is uh, hosting a barbecue fundraiser. We'll talk about that. And then the man that's probably the most important one when it comes to this barbecue is John yes. Trumbull, Bombs Away Barbecue. Thanks to all of you for coming in today. Linda, let's start out a little bit first about the retreat. This is the 10th anniversary, and it's a very special retreat. It's not only dealing with just our warriors and caregivers. Well, it's also going to be the 850 Strong. Tim Allen had that suggestion. Linda, make this an 850 Strong. He's our photographer, honoring the rebuilding of our town because it's been a tough year for all of us, and nothing brings the community together like the parades and thousands line the street, and let's honor those that have helped get us back to some kind of a new normal. And it will be, the retreat is November 4th through the 11th at the Spring Hill Suites by Marriott. And the church hosting is this High Praise Worship Center right. in Callaway. Yes. So we will be going down that route. It'll be a long route. Yeah, we'll come across the bridge and hit 23rd Street and go on down to, uh, well, I guess we're going to Transmitter Road. Ah, look at the website. WarriorBeachRetreat.org yeah, so. has everything on it. Yeah, so. it's got all that information on it. But of course, you know, with bringing these young men and women in here, it uh, it costs some money. So that's why we do some fundraisers. And uh, Craig, this is what? How many years now have you done? So it's our our, our ninth annual wow. Warrior Beach Retreat Barbecue Yay. Fundraiser, and uh, you know, we were so disappointed that uh, we weren't able to do this fundraiser in in the spring, uh, just because of the amount of damage that that right. obviously we all know that what happened on October 10th, uh, our hospital was was heavily damaged and, and closed for a while while we underwent repairs. Sure. So un unfortunately, we were not able to to host our event. That's why our, she's on her tenth, but we're only on our ninth barbecue. <laughs> uh, so well, we're happy to be back and uh, you know doing this this fundraiser to you know benefit yeah. this great local organization. And that's coming up on Friday, the first of. November. Yes, sir. So Friday, the no November 1st, uh, we'll be having our, our barbecue fundraiser. It lasts from 1030 to 1 p.m. And uh, the barbecue meals is a barbecue pulled pork sandwich, uh, baked beans, homemade mac and cheese, and you get a dessert with that. Uh, the cost of that is $8 per meal, oh. or you can get two for 15 Right. Uh, and then, you know, because we know everybody's busy during their work days and, and working, and sometimes it's hard to, to leave your work right. and, and come visit us, we do offer delivery meals. Uh, so on any order of 10 or more, uh, we will bring that order to you, and you just tell us what time you want it there, and we'll have it there, and all you got to do is uh, hand the money over. And, and the, the food is delicious. I've, it I've is seen delicious. a little bit of it. But that leads it us to, to John Trumbull. John, you got a big job on your hands. You're going to be cooking Boston butts. First of all, thank you so much yes. for doing this. We yes. appreciate thank it. You. We couldn't have done this without you. Mm -mm. So what do you, how long does it take you to cook this? Well, typically uh, just on a standard butt, about 30 hours. We slow cook wow. at 225 for a continuous 25 to 30 hours uh, per butt. So we'll be cooking for a long time. But it'll be well worth your time, effort, and money. Come support a, a great organization that gives back to ones that have given all to us, that give us the reason and the opportunity to uh, to be able to do this because without freedom, uh, we, we have nothing. Exactly. And the other good thing about it is a lot of people probably don't know this, but you're associated and accredited through DOD. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, uh, My son, he's an EOD tech. Uh, my, my whole family, uh, my father's retired military. As you know, you guys work yeah, together. Yeah. Uh, my brother's retired as well. Um, uh, so it's it's near and dear to my heart. And uh, one thing my wife and I wanted to do was sew back into the community and give back to the military before we launch our actual first day for Bombs Away Barbecue. And it's so much appreciated. So we got this fundraiser all set up. Craig graciously hosted over there. John's cooking. Yeah. Linda, tell us a little bit more about the retreat now. Uh, a lot of people have been following this, and uh, they go to the website. But tell us a little bit about it. Well, we started it after our son lost both legs above the knee in Iraq and wounded his hand. And that was about 13 years ago, November 12th, when this mm -hmm. happened. And 
We started this 10 years ago, and we focus on the caregiver, not just the wounded right. warrior. Mm -hmm. We feel they are the unsung heroes of war. Mm -hmm. I imagine Emerald Coast, you all deal with the caregivers as well as the warrior with what you do to help these heroes. They actually have a wing. Right. Craig, talk about that. You've got a wing out yeah, there for the veterans. Yeah, tell us about that. Yes, yes. yes. So uh, Emerald Coast Behavioral Hospital does have a, a 30 bed unit mm -hmm. that is dedicated to active duty service members. Uh, so, you know, much like you guys talked about, uh, th these these brave warriors have, have given so much uh, for us to enjoy our daily freedoms that we enjoy every single day. It's just a, a, a small thing that we can do to help them get their life back together. So, you know, a lot of these, these brave warriors are, are dealing with, you know, anxiety issues stemming from their time overseas, PTSD, um, you know, dealing with some sure. depression, yeah. um, you know, from, from just being in, in combat. So, you know, our, our role is just to give them that normalcy back in their life. And that's one way that we can do it. And the other way that we can do it is supporting uh, the Warrior Beach Retreat. Yeah. And that's why we're, we're happy to do it, is, right. is anything we can do to help support them. Um, you know, we're, and, we're here for And us. you don't realize, uh, you probably realize somewhat, but John, you realize somewhat, but when we work very closely with these for a week, these two here have no idea the influence that they have on these people's lives that we bring in. And also, this community is great. Mm. It's n none of this, we wouldn't be in our 10th year without support from Amber Coast Behavioral Hospital and with John stepping up and all the community that has donated so many meals, restaurants, activities, for these heroes and their loved ones that are coming from all across the country. So it's it's special. And it's nice, my dad actually is coming in. He's gonna be uh, one of the speakers at the meal. And he's a retired uh, colonel and he was in Vietnam and Korea and right. he's gonna be one of our honorary veterans. Yeah. 87 years old, he and my mom are coming. And I wanted them to see what this community does to honor those that have served. But again, I, I say a big thank you to the community and thank you for Emerald Coast Behavioral. This is our biggest fundraiser. It is. And yeah. when they weren't able to do it last spring, we were going, oh, oh, what are we gonna do? And we just said, Lord, you provide. And he made a way. We had four fundraisers cancel because of the storm. Right. And we thought, Lord, this was your vision, not ours. And we're gonna step out in faith because we had so many couples that were on the list to come. And it was a case of, we could cancel. I was being advised, Linda, people will understand. But you don't know what marriage is on the verge of divorce yeah. or what, what warrior or caregiver is on the verge of suicide. Right. Mm -hmm. And we thought, Lord, we're gonna continue to be your hands and feet. And he made a way in a beautiful, beautiful way. Right. So again, we can't thank them enough. And even for this fundraiser here, the people they thought could do it through no fault of theirs could not because so many of the, st the people that helped them were so hit by the storm. They've right. got no homes. Right. So in my husband's work, Guess who walks in the door the day I find out? And he said, sure, I'll do it. I'm going, yes. So it's just, it's all, it's, it's neat to see yeah. how things come together. Well, and John, you have firsthand knowledge of that. Uh, your dad, great guy, I, I was in the service with him. Your son in the service, your experience yourself, from someone associated with a veteran, how does that make you feel inside to, to realize the love and support that is out there that we just don't seem to get unless we go ahead uh, and take care of it ourselves? Uh, that's a touchy situation for me right now. Um, it's deep rooted, it, uh, it means a lot. And when I was asked, there was no questions. There was no no, it was an automatic yeah. yes. I didn't even let and finish the sentence of how many people we were serving or right. what we were gonna do. The answer was yes, the mission is to be fulfilled and that's what we'll do. And, and Craig, yeah. over there at the, the units you have, you work with these veterans, you, the active duty. Uh, how does that change them to come to your place? Because I know they come in in a very dark place, a lot of mm -hmm. them. And then all of a sudden, what do you do to get them back into what they they consider their norm. It may not be what we consider norm for us, mm -hmm. but for their normal to make them feel like they're a good human being, they're contributing, they, they have a purpose on this world. Yeah. Right. You know, it, it, it's something I've, I've learned uh, after Hurricane Michael is this is our new normal. So everybody's yes. normal is, is different. Right. Um, so, you know, we, we want to get you out of that dark place. We want to get you to your new normal, and hopefully that's very close to what your normal was before. Uh, there's several ways that, that we do that, and. Uh, I can let our clinical staff tell you the, the more ins and outs of, of how they do that and the amazing work that they do. But 
you know, we, we, we want to find different approaches for everyone. Right. Not everybody wants to sit down and talk about what happened and what they're going through and how they're feeling. So what we try to do is we try to find different treatment modalities that will work for each person. Um, so along some, some ways is prolonged exposure. Well, that's just talking about it, sitting down, and we're sure. gonna talk about it every day. Um, and we're gonna kind of work past that. How does that make you feel? Other ways are uh, rapid eye movement desensitization. Uh, so there's some really, really cool things with, right, with that. We do TMS, which is transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's used to, to treat uh, depression, chronic severe depression. We do acupuncture, we do yoga. And then new to Emerald Coast Hospital is we have a new staff member and his name's Erwin and he has a two-year-old yellow lab and he actually oh, um, stays there and works at the hospital and yeah. and does pet therapy for us there yeah. and oh, so wow. you know we, we've had several instances uh, we had a, a service member the other day that got some bad news uh, about a friend of his that uh, you know had passed away in a, in a training accident and uh, you know was was obviously uh, uh, upset about it and you know we brought the dog in and and he has yeah. two two labs back at home and was able to you know really kind of bring him out of that right. and, wow. and, and and you know it, it's just amazing yeah. watching this dog yeah. put put a smile back on these it, these people's faces it is amazing what you guys do too and you know this fundraiser you're doing on the first of november uh, you can go to our our, uh, our website and see the information on that. Yeah, and we have a we have a flyer here out. there for you. Yeah. John, you're going to be doing the cooking. Linda, we got just a couple of two three minutes left here, but one thing I'd like to to let the community know too is when these young men and women come in here, they feel like they're all alone. But this community opens up their hearts, opens up their arms, and shows them the love. And as a result, we found out the last few retreats now that we can actually let them come out and and get out there after the services and let the public come up and meet them and uh, shake their hand and everything. Yeah, so after the after the ceremony, which will be at seven o'clock at High Praise Church, they um, have a chance to shake the hands of these men and women right. that have served. And in the front of the parade, we have the Vietnam vets, Korean vets, those that served prior, but it's, it's, it's a real blessing. And we really could use the donations. Warrior sure. Beach Retreat Dollar sure. Org. Get you a barbecue plate. You know, some fundraisers, you buy the food and you go, I'm just doing this. And you know, we almost want to throw the plate away. I hate to say that. But some of the fundraisers you buy food from, it's just not the best. Right. This stuff is good. Because this is cooked with love. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. And, and then they have the homemade mac and cheese. And, yeah. I mean, it's so good. But these, these well, butts. It's getting close to lunchtime. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. But you're going to be smoking how many, for how long? And uh, About 25 to 30 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to bring the butts to Emerald Coast and smoke them there? You smoke them at home and then bringing we'll, them out? We'll how are you doing that? We'll be smoking them at at, at the uh, the residence where we smoke them, okay. uh, but we will have them on display. We will be smoking um, that morning. That as morning well. Uh, as well. Yeah. That is wonderful. We're so grateful. And what's uh, the name of your place? Your Bombs Away Barbecue Bombs LLC. You can see us on Facebook. Bombs Away um, Barbecue LLC. Well, Good. There you go. All right, just about a minute and a half. Final word, Greg. Come get you some delicious barbecue and and support a, a, a great local organization. A hundred percent of of the funds go to the Warrior Beach Retreat. So if you buy a meal from us for eight dollars, they get eight dollars. We don't take any percentage of it. Everything goes to them. And we appreciate that, yes, John. Sir. Final word. I just challenge you to come out and support this great organization. Um, also uh, ex extend a, a challenge that I'll be doing myself. Uh, buy a plate for yourself and buy a plate for a homeless veteran or a homeless person or go. a neighbor that's in need. Hasn't had a hot meal. There's a lot of people that are still looking for hot meals out mm. there. So uh, that's my challenge. All right, and we've got a lot of veterans out there that need yes. it. Linda, we're out of time here. Warrior Beach Retreat, November 4th through the 11th. Get your barbecue on uh, November 1st. Thank you all for tuning in today. That's this edition of Military Minutes. We'll see you all next week. Have a great day, everyone.